everyone. My name is Stephanie Sutton, editor of The Medicine Maker. Today I'm delighted to be speaking with Peter Saltner, Managing Director at VETA, and we're going to be talking about the injectable drug segment. Peter, it's lovely to have you with us today. First of all, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about your background and your role at VETA. Yeah, first of all, thank you very much for the invitation. My name is uh, Peter Saltner. Um, I'm 13 years now managing director together with my colleague Thomas Otto at FETA. So the two of us are operationally responsible for the company, run the show. We do not have a CEO. The two of us have to battle for the best opinion and have our specific focal points of view. By education, I'm a chemical engineer and an MBA. And my main focus in the company is usually everything um, focusing on the foreign affairs, such as sales, customer project management, supply chain management, corporate strategy. Since six years, I'm an HR specialist, uh, IT and these type of functions. And uh, yeah, it uh, had been really a great ride with FETA. Uh, it's fun to work for the, for the company. You had a great development and it's just terrific to see how the entire team grows and what type of, of job we can do here for patients in the world. So let's talk about the injectable drug segment. Where do you think the injectable drug segment market is heading? What are the trends you are seeing in the market and what are you hearing about from industry partners and your customers? Yeah, so uh, I, I personally think that we have an extremely dynamic environment at this point in time. So if you follow suit there the last decade, and if you look into the into the midterm future, it had been an extremely dynamic development uh, in that biopharmaceutical segment. So we talk about a high global demand. We have a lot of unmet needs still in that field. Uh, we see a lot of specialized targeted and precision therapies, which are which are coming up, what I call the kind of the third wave of biotech. After we dealt with uh, EPOS before, and then we had that age of monoclonal antibodies. And in the meantime, we see all kinds of things ranging from CAR T cells to viral vectors and to other complex medications. So with that said, so the more complex we become in that world of biopharmaceuticals, we certainly see a a high degree of customization of managing complexity. That's where our company comes into play. We still fill it in the same kind of glass vials, syringes and, and pre-filled containers, but everything what you have to manage around the molecule becomes much more complex. What do these market dynamics mean for VETA? And how is the organization preparing to meet these shifting demands? Yeah, yeah, certainly, you know, if you want to determine your future, you have to understand where you come from in the past. And FETA has a, a widespread experience of over 40 years when it comes to injectables and aseptic filling. So with, with that said, um, we definitely cannot uh, sit on our laurels and, and say, okay, fine, um, we, we, uh, we become complacent. Due to the dynamics I described uh, before, um, we have to invest into that market. We have to ensure that we have the right um, infrastructure, that we expand our capacities here. We invested recently in a new site in Rankweil, Austria, which is an expansion of our FETA development services here in Germany, as well as our FETA development services in Chicago. We have over 250 projects we actively manage for customers in the different clinical phases and uh, try to be in the act part and, and, and a good partner with a lot of expertise. On the other hand, I think due to the complexity of molecules, this is definitely the age of viable partnerships. We have one of those, for example, with Rentschler Biopharma, where we teamed up along the biopharmaceutical value chain, where you come from API drug manufacturing and the formulation work in between. And then it comes to the fill finish part, which is our specialty. And the better we are aligned from the get go, when customers talk to us, we have a joint project management approach here, it is really crucial to shorten timelines, to really um, have a spillover rate of certain expertises and exchange 
these type of, of critical thinking models, uh, certain design spaces, how you come to a robust product early on. And that is, that is really uh, crucial to be successful at the end. And you sit in one of the most important driving seats in VETA. What motivates you in your work? Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm uh, so uh, no, nobody has to work here. It, it is a it is a choice, and it's a choice uh, what, what I what I really uh, uh, made, and I'm very happy and 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 motivated every, every single day when I when I come to work, and particularly when you see. Um, all our experts and, and, and people, how they give their best every single day and, and the motivation they bring to work. And we see the, the patients behind that. We have really, um, very young patients. I'm, I'm just thinking about one application we have in house, uh, against kids' Alzheimer's. There's even such things that we have patients between one and three years who, uh, receive such drug for, from one of our customers. And, and we have the elderly population and everything in between. So it, it is a, a global supply of products. We have, uh, over 80 products which are registered by the agencies. And, um, it, it's a lot of responsibility we all feel on the one one hand, on the other hand, it is extremely rewarding to be part of such a supply chain and to have a meaningful job, which really makes a difference in people's lives, in their families. And uh, so, from from that perspective, uh, I cannot uh, cannot be happier. It had been a tremendous ride, and the perspective is really good. We are just thinking through our strategy for the next decade to build on it. And um, I can only say I'm very happy to be um, an integral member of this team. I'm extremely happy um, that we have uh, such great people on board. So that 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 really that really really makes me tick every single day when I get out of bed to make a difference in people's lives. Peter, thank you so much for your time today and for telling us about VETA and the investments the company is making. Do you have any closing remarks? So, uh, t- first of all, thank you very much for the opportunity that we could share our views on the industry and what we are up to at FETA. And uh, I, can, I can only hope, together with all the other companies, that we really make a big push forward with modern medication in the, in the years to come. I definitely think that we are on the brink to achieve something with that entire industry that could be really the age of biotech. And uh, thank you so much for today's interview. And uh, yeah, stay safe and, and happy. That's, that's the most important, important piece within the pandemic or the tail end of the pandemic, hopefully. Thanks. Thank you for the discussion, Peter.